This is the internal organ of a cicada. And this is how cicadas cry. Today, let's learn about cicadas. Cicadas are insects that produce loud cries. However, only the males can make sound. Females cannot produce sound. The reason why males cry is to attract females. It's a serenade for mating. However, which part of the cicada produces such a loud sound? To understand the mechanism, let's observe the body structure of a cicada. This is a male cicada. It is divided into the head, thorax, and abdomen. Looking at the head, cicadas have a distinct gap between their compound eyes. And in the middle, there are three simple eyes. When we magnify it under a microscope, we can see the arrangement of the simple eyes in a triangular pattern between the compound eyes. Compound eyes are used to detect movement and colors, while the simple eyes detect contrasts and shades. And looking at the facial area, Although the mouth is folded towards the abdomen, when you unfold it like this, you can see that cicadas have a proboscis similar to mosquitoes. Fortunately, cicadas do not engage in blood-sucking activities. They feed on tree sap. Moving on to the thorax, we find the legs and wings. The lower part holds three pairs of legs, while the upper part houses the wings. The wings may appear as a single pair, but when spread out, they reveal two pairs. Examining the shape of the abdomen, you can distinguish between males and female. Males have an organ called the operculum at the end of the abdomen, and the tail is blunt. On the other hand, females lack the operculum but have an ovipositor. Ovipositor is the egg-laying structure. It makes their tail pointed. There is a misconception that the operculum is responsible for the cicada sound. Nope. But this is not true. The secret of the cicada sound lies right beneath the wings. When lifting the wings, the visible part is the sound-producing organ called the timbal. In this cicada, the timbal is not clearly visible due to its dark body color, but it can be observed more easily in other cicada species. The timbal cannot be seen in females. The mechanism behind sound production from the timbal can be easily understood by examining the internal structure of the body. If we cut the abdomen and look inside, we can see a structure shaped like a V that connects to the timbal. This area is controlled by a muscle called the timbal muscle. When the timbal muscle contracts and relaxes, the timbal folds and unfolds, producing sound. It is similar to the principle of sound produced when a can is crushed and expanded. Cicadas can rapidly contract and relax the timbal muscle and the continuous sound produced during this process is the cicada's cry. So, when observing the cicada's cry, you can see the abdomen twitching due to the contraction of the muscle. To be precise, cicadas are not crying, but rather vibrating. Furthermore, the empty space inside the abdomen beneath the timbal enhances the resonance, amplifying the sound. This is the principle that allows cicadas to produce such a loud noise. This is the end of the cicada sound. Clear your eyes with Sebastian's cuteness. If you enjoyed, please subscribe.